Hey everyone, I'm back today with another support tip. This one's really quick, but hopefully this will be helpful. Uh, for the last two or three months um, on the Artisan Guild pre-supported releases, I've been using this trick to make the light supports uh, more printable for people by uh, thickening them, not where they connect, but thickening on the way. So it's a really simple, easy tip, but hopefully this will, uh, if you use this, you'll be able to use lighter supports with more success. So let's jump right into Chittabox. Let me show you exactly what it is. It's only gonna take a minute or two, and hopefully this will help you to uh, support your models better, get better prints. That's what I'm all about. So please like, please subscribe, stay tuned. Let's jump into Chittabox and let's learn something. Thanks. Okay, here we are. We are looking at, pull back real quick, a uh, Dark Elf model from Artisan Guild. Now let's say you have a, let, you need a light support. You need to get a really light support in and you can't get the, the support close to it. See that little tip right there on the knee armor? So what we're gonna do is, uh, we're going to drop a support uh, at, at one of the nearest points we can. Well, first, just to show you, you can't drop it straight down. You click on the point, you get a crappy little thing that we don't want touching the model. Get rid of that. So we're going to add a support where it makes the most sense. This right, line it up with the knee if we can. I'm going to edit this, pull it out a little bit, pull it up a little bit. Now I'm going to get my thin light support in there. Now, this is supporting almost no material, so I can go even thinner. I'm going to go down to 0.15 from my upper diameter. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm also going to go on the lower diameter, I'm gonna thicken that. Now, since I have a very thin point, I wanna have a very thick lower diameter which goes to it. And if, if I wanna get even fancier, I'll go to the middle section and raise that diameter so I get a thicker pillar going up. And that allows me then to do a thicker connection on the top part for the lower diameter. Now, it's gonna have a lot less chance of failing, warping, wobbling on the way over because it's a much thicker support going there. But I still have a super fine tip here. I go down to even 0.05, which normally I don't do unless I'm a lot closer to the model just to ensure it won't fail. But you can do this as long as you have the lower diameter, you've increased the thickness. And again, don't forget, if you do that, you should also correspondingly go to the middle section of the support and, and increase that diameter as well. You don't want the top portion to be thicker than the middle portion, uh, otherwise it, it It'll create an island, actually, possibly. So that's it. Quick, simple tip to help your light supports get where they need to go. The longer the distance, the more this comes in handy and the thicker you can make it to get it there. So please like, please subscribe, please check out my uh, other videos from, uh, from other good instructions, hopefully. Thanks, and happy 3D printing.